Hello everyone, my name is Diego Igueras Reed and in this video I'll show you step by step how to fabricate cavatappi artificial muscles. Cavatappi artificial muscles are a new type of fluid driven soft actuators initially inspired by twisted and coiled polymer actuators and named due to their similar shape to the Italian pasta. They are also very inexpensive and easy to fabricate and in this video I'll show you step by step how to make them. Cavatappi artificial muscles have been shown to outperform many metrics of human skeletal muscles and have also been implemented in bioinspired applications like the robotic limb on my right. Before we get started, I'll introduce the different materials and tools that are required for fabrication. Cavatappi artificial muscles are made from soft PVC, also known by the brand name Tygon. And the one that we use in this tutorial is a Tygon tube of an inner diameter of 1 16th of an inch and an outer diameter of 1 8th of an inch. In addition, these artificial muscles are reinforced by inserting a nylon monofilament inside the tube during fabrication. This monofilament is 0.03 inches in diameter, which is approximately 0.8 millimeters. Next, the different tools that we need for fabrication are a pair of scissors, some pliers, screwdriver, two clamps that will be used to fix the ends of the artificial muscle, a syringe with mineral oil, a mandrel approximately one millimeter in diameter, a twisting device, and an oven. All right, let's get started. So the very first step will be to cut a piece of um, tygon here and uh, the initial length will depend on the final muscle length that we want to approach. For this tutorial, I will cut approximately 15 centimeters. Next, we are going to take our piece of tube and we are gonna um, insert some mineral oil in order to lubricate the, the inside of the tube and that will help when introducing the monofilament reinforcement. Once we have some mineral oil inside the precursor tube, we will proceed to cut the monofilament. The monofilament length should be about three times longer than the, the initial length of the tube. And this is because after inserting the monofilament, we'll draw the material with a draw ratio of three to one approximately, which means we will be stretching the, the precursor tube about three times the initial length. So I already have the marks here and I'll be cutting the monofilament a little bit longer than three times the initial length of the tube, just to play safe. Okay, I insert the monofilament inside the precursor tube and remember that I lubricated the, the inside of the tube, so it slides in pretty smoothly. And next, I'll clamp one of the ends of the tube with the monofilament inside. Once it's clamped at one of the ends, I will set it in the twisting device. Here, the twisting device consists of two towers. One of them can move axially through this rail and the other one is fixed. And every tower got one hook and they can twist. The next step will be to draw the tube. And to do that, I slide in the, the clamp inside the tube right there and I use a, a plier to draw the, the tube. When the tube is drawn, I use the, the clamp to fix the other end. And that will help to keep the, the new length of the tube. After clamping the other end, the material is drawn and also fixed. So we can attach it, attach it to the hook in the twisting device and we are ready to start twisting the drawn precursor tube. 
So now is the time to start twisting. So note that this process could be done much faster by using a drill. But if this is the first time that you are fabricating a Kava Tapir artificial muscle, I recommend you to do it by hand because this will give you a sense of um, when the twisted tube will start coiling, which is um, very important because at that time we need to insert the mandrel in the coil. And at this point, as I keep twisting, the material keep, keeps coiling and the Cavatappi artificial muscles is being fabricated. And there we go. Here we have our Cavatappi artificial muscle. Note that we can make them very, very long, like this one that I have right here. And for this tutorial, I just made it short um, to make it faster, but any length is possible. In addition to the length, we can also fabricate Cavatappi artificial muscles of different geometries by changing the size of the mandrel or using different tubing. In order for the soft PVC tube to maintain the new shape, we will need to anneal the material at 190 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. After annealing, we can cut the new spring shape configuration and um, that's it. And just to give you a quick actuation demonstration, I have attached the Cavatappi that we just made to a syringe and I will apply the load using this mass, which is approximately 200 grams. And when we apply internal pressure, we can see the actuation response. of the actuator and we can even go heavier and use a half a kilo load and same when we apply the internal pressure we can see that actuation response all right that's all i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching